Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use text boxes in Word. I'm also going to show you how to customize them because I think they're one of the most useful and flexible tools in this piece of software. So first of all, let's go up to insert along to text box, click on the drop down and just select draw text box. Then all you need to do is just click and drag your mouse. Now all text boxes by default will come with a white background and a black border. Now it may look like it's transparent at the moment, obviously because that's on a white background, but if I just go ahead quickly and change the background color, let's change the page background and there you can see we have a black border and a white background. Now we can get rid of that background in a minute, but I'll show you how to do that shortly. So let's just quickly insert some text. So I'm just going to click on my text box and you can see I've selected it because it has all the markers around the outside. I'm just going to click at the top here and then it allows me to put my cursor inside and type some text. Okay, now in order to change this text, the first thing we can do is just select it all, go to the Home tab, and then in the normal way that you'd select and change and customize text, you've got all your tools over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to change the font. So I'm just going to pick anything here. And then I'm going to increase that font by using the increase font size tool here. Just keep clicking on it until I'm happy. And you can go ahead and change the colors of it and the bold and underline again if you want to. And then I'm just going to go along here and select this center text icon and that will allow me to center my text inside this text box. Now, although it's centered, it's not centered from the top and the bottom. So let's show you how to do that. Now, when you've selected your text box, you can go up to shape format here and you'll have some very basic customization tools here, which will allow you to change the color inside or change the border colors. Now, although that's possible, there are more customization tools available to you. If you go to the Shape Format tab and go all the way along to this icon here that says Format Pane, just click on it and you'll have this menu here. And this is where you can really play about with customizing your text box. So if you go to this icon here and then you go to Vertical Alignment, click on the drop down and then you can select Middle and that will place your text perfectly in the middle of your text box. So that's more about your text. So let's talk about the box itself. So as we've said before, our box has a fill color and a border color. So when you come over to this menu here, you've got to make sure that you're on shape options because they're giving you two options here. Text options is all about your text and the shape options is all about your text box. You've got here fill and line. Now your fill, click on the drop down, relates to the color or the texture within the box. And the line here, again, click on the drop down, refers to the border line. So you've got all your customization tools here. So let's quickly go to solid fill. So let's just pull my screen in a little. If I click on the drop down here, you can select from any color you like. So let's just click this color here. This is one of my recent colors. If you can't find the color you like, just go to more colors. And you've got your color wheel here that you can just use this cursor and move it anywhere around to select the color of your choice. Your color will appear in this box here. And you can also use this slider left and right to make that color lighter or darker. So once you've selected that color, you can then go down and select your border color and or style. So let's just make sure you're on solid line. If you don't want a line, just click no line. And if we click away, you can see there's no line. Click solid line, go to the drop down and then select a color of your choice. Now with this, you can also customize the width. So let's say for example, we put this up to five, press enter and then you can see how that will change your border. Now, sometimes when you 
go back and forth to selecting your text boxes, it automatically changes to text. So let's go back to shape. What you can also do is select the different lines that are available here. So let's go down to the bottom one here and you can see how that borderline will change if you want something a little bit more fun. So let's just go back to the straight line and at the moment you can see I've got a slightly beveled corner edge. If you don't want that, let's just select it again. Go to shape options and then go all the way down to join type. Click on the drop down and just select mitre. And if we click away, you can see there's a nice sharp corner to that text box. So we've looked at solid fill. We've also got gradients to explore as well. So if you click on gradient fill, you can see there's lots of wacky things that you can do here with gradients. Now gradients is just the transition between one color and another. So if you look at this slider here, if I just click on this purple color, you can see I've selected it because it's got an orange outline. If I pull it left to right, you can see how that gradient in my box changes. And again, this way as well. Now, the way to fully customize this is to first of all select from your presets. So if I click on presets, you can see there's lots of different variety here. But if you don't see something you like, then if you go down to type, click on the drop down, there's several options here. So the linear one, for example, if you go down to this next preset, these are all the linear gradients that you can choose from. Left to right, top to bottom, and also angled as well. So let's choose top to bottom. And again, you can see once I move this slider, how you can adapt that gradient. If you go to radial, again, you've got lots of different options once you select radial, as we had before. And you can also change these colors by selecting a marker, clicking on color and selecting a different color. Go to the other side again, select another color and you can have a lot of fun with these as well. You can add markers if you want to introduce more colors. Again, let's go ahead and choose a completely different color. And you can see once again how flexible and interesting these gradients can be. So let's get rid of that one. And once again, if you've selected one of these markers, you can change the brightness of it. So go all the way to white, all the way down to black, and also its transparency as well. So it's really, really customizable. Again, you can do exactly the same down here with your line. You've got the gradient option down here as well. You can take these markers off. If you select one, go to the minus button here, and again, and you can also add them with the add button. If I just click away, you can see how that gradient works. You can't see it very well because it's quite a light gradient. But if I was to change the colors, let's choose a black and then maybe a gray or a light gray, then you can kind of see the effect you've got there. So those are the fill and the line options for you. Now, what I'm going to do is just gonna take out this line by selecting no line. And I'm going to go along to this icon here, the effects. There's some really quite useful and interesting effects that you can place on these text boxes. So let's first of all go down to shadow. And you've got a number of presets here. And you can select from anything you like. If you want the shadow to be inside, it will look like the text box is set backwards slightly or cut out. And you can once again adjust that adjust the transparency of that shadow so you can make it really black if you want to. You can obviously change the color if you just want something darker but the same color. You can affect the blur inside and also you can affect the angle of that as well. You can also look at reflections so again click on the presets and this will just make it look as if it's floating slightly so you can see there's a reflection there and you can also use the sliders to customize it, the distance slider, the size, so more or less of the text box that could be exposed and again how transparent it is. Another one is the, you can also play around with glow and soft edges. Glow is just an external color and soft edges just refers to how soft you want those edges to be and the size here will affect how blurry that color is. 
The 3D formats are quite interesting because we can now introduce a bevel. And this is really why I took the border off. Let's just take the shadow off. Go to preset, select no shadow. Now these are quite interesting. So you can select from a number of these different bevels here and this will give it a really interesting 3D look. So I'm just going to select this one here and you can see the effect now that we've got on that text box. You can fully adjust it using these. If I hit the up arrow with the width, you can see the width of that bevel gets thicker and thicker and then the height of it again is affected by using these up and down arrows. You can also play around with the materials if you want it to look very shiny or you want it to look matte you can play around with those as well and also the lighting you can choose a lot of different lighting here and it's got some quite interesting effects now let's just take off the reflection no reflection and go down to 3d rotation again go to the presets and then you can rotate these text boxes as well so it looks as though you have a slightly more 3D effect. And once again, you can come up with some really interesting designs. Okay, so if you go to this icon here, this will adjust how your text fits inside your text box. So again, we'll go up to middle. We've discussed this middle icon. If you want your text at the bottom as well, you can choose that. The text direction here, if you want to rotate your text, can do that using these two options here and this refers to the margins so if you've got a lot of text inside your text box and you want to increase or decrease the margins how close your text is to the edge of your text box they can just use these options here so let's say for example I wanted my, to move my text up closer to the margin you can see that's the adjustment I can make and it will just increase those margins or decrease those margins in this case just to allow the text as much room as possible but again it's completely up to you now when it comes to text options again we've got three different options at the top once again referring to the text fill is the color of your text so you can select a different color and you can also change its transparency you can also choose text outline so if you go to solid line and click on the drop down of the colors, let's just turn it yellow so you can see what I'm talking about. So there you go, that's the outline effect that you can have with your text. So there really are quite a few different options here. And again, you've got all these options down here. You can make the line thicker here and you can have different lines and you can also bevel the lines as well. You can also have a gradient for the lines as we've discussed before and you can play around with all these different options to suit your needs. I think the line here would look a lot better if my text or my font was bigger so you could actually see the outline a bit better. So I'm just going to select no line and this option here once again allows you to put shadows on your text and you can change the colour of that shadow you can also change its transparency, size, etc. Again, you've got all the other options we had before. You can have a reflection, glow, 3D effect. Again, you've got so many different options here to choose from. And this, again, will change your entire text box. And then finally, this option here, again, this is, again, exactly the same as the shape options, just aligning your text in the way that you see fit. So I'm just going to go ahead now and create some other text boxes. I'll speed up the video just so that you can see how creative you can be. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. And just enjoy.
other wonderful thing you can do about these text boxes is that you can copy and paste them as soon as you've customized them and just change the text if you want to. You can go ahead and copy and paste in the normal way. I find the quickest way to do it is to just select it, hit your Alt key on your keyboard, click and drag. Then do that one more time. Let's just select that one more time. And then what you can do is you can align these by selecting them all. Click on one, hold the command key down on your keyboard, the command or control key down. Go up to shape format, go along to align and select align to center. To ensure that you've got the correct gaps between both of these, you can also go to the align tool again and then just select distribute vertically and that will ensure you've got an equal line between those text boxes. If you want to group them together to keep them aligned, then just go up to the group tool here and select group. And now you can move them around as one, which again is incredibly useful. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.